So unfortunately, the engine is completely locked up on this. And when we did the infamous oil check, this is what we found. No oil. So that's never a good thing. That's about the only thing that can take these engines out. They're pretty tough. Still haven't found what let loose. Oh, geez. Yeah, we did. Yikes. That rod broke. See it up in there? Busted. Yeah, you can see the uh, the broken rod there. And unfortunately, where the ride where the rod rides on the crankshaft here, I can actually feel grooves in it. That's not good. That's also supposed to be glossy smooth on there, no marks. So I think this crank is probably uh, this crankshaft is probably ruined too. Not sure if I'll be able to clean that up. All right, folks. Things are going to start getting interesting now. Here's our crank, and here's some battery acid left over from the battery I bought. Apparently hydrochloric acid, which is battery acid, is almost the same as muriatic acid. So we'll try that. And I have a couple of brushes here. A brass brush and a toothbrush. You won't want to use that after we're done. All right, so let's get started on this. This is a first for me, so let's see what happens. Get our acid, man. And I have this piece propped up. I don't want to get any acid on it. It's aluminum, so it would melt. So apparently, just the aluminum melts and not the steel. So we'll see about that. I want to be very careful with how I apply this stuff. Just put it on this area. I've had this old bottle of battery acid forever. I don't know how to get rid of the stuff. I just don't want to pour it out. Alright, so let's see what happens with a little bit of uh, hydrochloric acid on here. See if we can get a reaction to take place. I don't see anything so far. We'll come back in a few minutes. Well guys, it's been about 15 minutes. Nothing's happened. So I think I might go to the store and buy some muriatic acid. See if that uh, helps me out a bit. So battery acid isn't working for me. It might be because this acid has been sitting outside in the rain for about 10 years. But uh, yeah, I'll go buy some of that other stuff and see how it works. So I went to the store and got some of this stuff. A lot of you old farts uh, told me that this is the trick, is this muriatic acid uh, that we can put it on here and uh, get this aluminum to come off. So let's get up close here. I want to be very, very careful because I don't like, because I don't like dealing with chemicals, especially acid. So just going to be real careful here with it. Nasty stuff, it looks like. Dang. Pour a little bit into here. This was the smallest amount of this stuff I could buy. I don't even know how much it was. It wasn't that expensive, $10 maybe. Here we go. So I'll just dip my toothbrush in here a little bit. And be careful not to drip this stuff anywhere else on this. Oh yeah, this stuff's already going to work. Look at that. 
Can you see it bubbling? You old farts that watch my videos and comment, you know what you're talking about most of the time. I appreciate it. <coughs> oh, watch out for the fumes. <coughs> oh boy. That'll get you. So yeah, I'm just going to rub some of this stuff on here. See what happens. Pretty cool, you can see it going to work. I have a brass brush here that I will uh, scrub on it a little bit. Let it soak a little bit longer here. Put some more on. Just be careful not to get it on anything else. Well, I guess it doesn't melt steel as fast as it melts aluminum, but this part, you gotta be careful because this part here of the counterbalance mechanism is, is aluminum, so you don't wanna get any acid on there. Yeah, you can really see that stuff going to work and the fumes coming off of it. Do not breathe those fumes. You may die. Tech tip number 3,462. Don't breathe those fumes, you could die. Boy, this is really the stuff, man. Stuff's no joke. Man, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is some serious fumes coming off of there. Let's just clean it up for a sec. Let's see where we're at. Definitely do this in a well ventilated space, or you may die. So I've been at this about a half an hour now, and uh, this thing's looking really good. It looks like there's only one uh, one spot left of aluminum that's still uh, foaming up when I put fresh acid on there, as you can see, or maybe you can see it. It's bubbling still. But yeah, we'll get that off of there, and then we'll start uh, polishing up this journal. So that is pretty cool. That, uh muriatic acid did take off all of that aluminum it took about 30 minutes and I kept reapplying it using a little brush I used a brass brush and a regular toothbrush to do it and uh, now we're down to this bare metal here and I'm feeling all around and you could still see uh, you could tell where it got really hot still but it's smooth as can be and all the aluminum is off of there that was melted on there and I don't feel any big gouges nothing that my fingernail can stick in so yeah I don't know if you can see right there that's kinda cool I don't know if you can see that with the camera but you can actually see where the rod started to skip on the crank here but still all that's smooth but we need to make it smoother. But we need to make it more smooth. And to do that, we're going to use 1500 grit sandpaper, which is the finest grit sandpaper I could find. 
and we're going to wrap it around here and very gently sand all this out and of course while we're here we'll sand off all this as well luckily this is just surface rust nothing too serious so we still have some work to do on this to get it mirror smooth as you can see no grooves you could just tell where it got really hot all right let's do this these are the only scissors they'll let me use around here the round tipped I hurt myself with the other ones let's see right about there good enough and then we'll wrap this around here like so get it as tight as we can now we need a rope so I do want to put a little lube on here first wrap that as tight as you can just regular piece of uh, this is kind of thick pull string pull start string wrap it around a few times Maybe one more time here and you can see what sort of action we're going to be doing here and you just kind of want to work it back and forth Get the string to go to both sides here. It's a little technique you can do once you get familiar with it. Let's see what that did. Yeah, it's doing a little something. Back and forth like this. Maybe a little That way you can evenly sand it down. Let's see where we're at. Oh. Oh, it's starting to look nice. Yeah, it's definitely looking looking better. Get a flashlight on there so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. Switch to the other side of the sandpaper now. So the reason why you want the uh, finest sandpaper you can find is of, uh, I think I mentioned it, you want a mirror finish on this crankshaft. That way, the new rod that we had to order, which was like 70 bucks, by the way, will have a uh, nice, nice, smooth journal to write on. All right, back at it. There you go, kids. There's the technique for you. Work that string back and forth. Oh yeah. Whew, okay. I think we're doing pretty good. Oh yeah. That's looking great. She's beautiful. It's 
pretty dark in here so hopefully you guys can see that it looks really nice all the way around we didn't have to take off hardly any metal if any just polishing this baby up <laughs> 